Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy, Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Let's get open for business, and let's wake up the football gods here. Man, um, I don't know how much football you got watched yesterday, but, man, when you start looking at some of these teams – the teams that are fighting for playoff spots, the energy, the excitement, the no hole bar by the coaches. You know, you're seeing New England throwing halfback passes and flea flickers. You're seeing the Rams getting Todd Gurley running kind of like he was before. And the Rams beating Seattle. You're seeing the 49ers, a team who... I still did not believe in, get a call, of course, everybody gets a call against New Orleans except us, you know, go into New Orleans and, and the defense could not stop Jimmy G and those guys. I see these teams that are just head and shoulders above where my Cowboys are to my dismay. If somehow, some way, the Dallas Cowboys make the playoffs, it's going to be interesting when we think about this because whoever comes out of the NFC East is going to be a four seed. And right now at the moment, it's looking like Seattle will be a fifth seed, which would mean we would be playing Seattle at home. Now, maybe there's good news if it is Seattle. It seems like Seattle, maybe they've peaked and they're coming back down to earth a little bit. Maybe you catch a break on that, maybe. But if the Cowboys play like they have the last two weeks, you're not beating anybody. You're not making the playoffs, quite frankly. And how crazy is it that seeing the Rams last night where Jared Goff is looking better, he got two touchdowns and two interceptions, but he got the win against Seattle. How crazy is it that the Rams may miss the playoff because their kicker missed a kick in Seattle. One. And we might make the playoffs with our kicker who's missed kicks in like seven games already this year. This is one of those difficult questions. And when I bring up a question like this, you get hate. Looking around the NFC right now versus what my Cowboys are putting on the field, is making the playoffs really the right thing? Making the playoffs will be, let's, let's be honest with ourselves, I don't know that we can compete with the other teams. You might get lucky. You know, anything can happen. But as I look at the 49ers, as I look at the Saints, as I look at Green Bay, as I look at Seattle, as I look at the 49ers, it's a tough road to hoe. It'll be great to be able to say, hey, we won the division again. It'd be great to say we had another winning season It'd be great to say we won three out of the last four divisions. That's short term. The problem with that is, at the moment as it stands, we're looking at like the 14th pick in the draft. That's not a bad place to pick. If we make the playoffs and we're one and done, you're going to be mid-20s. Could that 10 position shift be that defensive lineman, that trash can full of dirt, that generational talent that takes the defense to another level for years to come? Does being out of the playoffs get you where you're able to start working on the next guy coming in sooner than later. So come January, you're hiring a guy early in January. You are getting your pick 
because you know the end of the season, there's going to be a lot of bloodshed. There's going to be a lot of coaches that are fired, and that means there are going to be a lot of teams that are looking, and you may not get the guy that you want. Do you want to make the playoffs, you know, win the last three games, and all of a sudden Jerry Jones has a change of heart and says, you know what, that Jason Garrett, we, we had him fried. We had him ready to go ahead and get skewered. You all thought he was a dead man walking, but I knew Jason Garrett was the right man to turn this team around, and we're going to give him one more chance again. You know what I'm saying, right? So is it in the best interest of the team long term to get that victory? to make the playoffs, to hurt your long-term future? I don't have that answer for that. I want to hear your thoughts, because if I say, be better to lose out, I'm going to get the trolls saying, you're not really a Dallas Cowboy fan, and you don't really, you know, you never want to lose. But i got to tell you, this is that deja vu moment when we were losing three games straight in 2017, I posed the same question and got a lot of hate because I said, you know, at that point, making the playoffs was slim, and if we did, we weren't going anywhere. Would we have been better off in 2017 bottoming out, getting a high draft pick, and getting Jason Garrett fired? And here we sit, two years later, with nothing really accomplished between the time, wasted with Jason Garrett. Now tonight, we've got the return of the Mac. Eli Manning is coming around to play the Philadelphia Eagles. And the Eagles... As much as their trolls like to come around and talk smack about us, the reality is they can win tonight. We can lose next week. And we're still playing for the division the week after. That's how crazy it is. And that's how low the Eagles are. So Eagles, understand, we suck. You suck. The Giants suck. The Redskins suck. It's just a question, who's going to be the king of the suckage? We'll be live streaming um, during the, we're going to start our live stream early tonight. We're going to be trolling Philly 500 and the Eagles and things because, well, hell, that's what we do. And we'll be talking about the Dallas Cowboys and, of course, any other news that happens. Um... You know, we're beginning to look at coaches and things. Um, I said, I like a coach like Ron Rivera. And what people said to me was, Ron Rivera, he's got a record like Jason Garrett. And that is true. But I ask you to think about this. How much premier talent did the Carolina Panthers have versus Jason Garrett? I mean, Jason Garrett has had rushing champions in DeMarco Murray and Zeke Elliott. You could look at it and say four of his years having the best running back in football. You can look and say you've had incredible receivers in Des Bryant, Randall Cobb. You had a Hall of Fame wide receiver, excuse me, tight end. You've had two top 10 quarterbacks. How much did Carolina have of that kind of talent? Oh, and the best offensive line in football. When you look at Carolina, Ron Rivera did more getting them to a Super Bowl with a lot less than what I choke on Jason Garrett every time I think about him. He went to a Super Bowl with a lot less talent than the Dallas Cowboys 
a lot less talent than the Dallas Cowboys. So look at it from that standpoint. And you can try and say it's the players that the Cowboys just haven't had the players or this, that, and the other. And I cry bullshit. You have had too much talent over the years to not have been more successful than two playoff wins in 10 years and still keep a job. Sorry. I'm Mark Holmes, and, well, at least we got something to laugh at tonight, the Eagles and the Giants. I'll see you soon.